let's start with the right angle triangle. Then from its base we will pull a perpendicular line up until its hypotenuse. Now from the intersection of this perpendicular line and the base we will pull another line up until the apex of this triangle just as shown in the sketch. Now in this way we have formed three triangles inside our big triangle. And if we know that the area of the left triangle is equal to 6 squared units and the area of the middle triangle is equal to 2 squared units, is it somehow possible for us to find the area of the whole triangle? So if you want to try this problem for yourself, you can pause the video right now and then come back and check the solution. Alright, so let's solve this one together. So let's first label the vertices of our big triangle as A, B and C. Then let's label the intersection point between the perpendicular and the base as D and the intersection point between the perpendicular and the hypotenuse as E. Now let's have a look at the right triangle ADC. We can label the base of this triangle as A and its height as B. So from this we can say that the area of this triangle ADC must be equal to the base A times the height B over 2. Since we know that its area is equal to 6, we can substitute this value and then simplify to get that A times B must be equal to 12. Next, let's have a look at the triangle DEC. We can say that DE is the base of this triangle and we can label it as C. Then, in this way, the line AD will represent the height of this triangle and it will have the length of A. So we can say that the area of this triangle DEC is equal to the product of its base, which is C, and the height, which is A, over 2. So, since we know that the area of this triangle is equal to 2, we can substitute this value in and simplify to get that C times A is equal to 4. Now, from the left equation, we can conclude that A must be equal to 12 over B, and from the right equation, we can conclude that A is equal to 4 over C. So, since both of those equations are equal to A, this means that 12 over B must be equal to 4 over C. Now we can work through this by substituting the values of C and 12 and we will get the following. Now we can simplify to get that C over B must be equal to 1 over 3. Now let's use one really interesting property of a similar triangles which states that if we have two similar triangles and we label their sides and their areas, we know that the factor of similarity between those two triangles can be calculated as the relation between their sides, but it can also be calculated as the square root of the relation between their areas. So, we will use this fact in our favor. Let's first take a look at the right triangle DBE and we're going to label its area as A. Now we can isolate our big triangle ABC and we know that its height is equal to B. Then we can also isolate the small red triangle DBE which has the height of C. Now, we know that both of those triangles are right triangles, and we can also see that both of them share the same angle at the point B. So, since those two triangles have two congruent angles, this means that those two triangles are similar. Furthermore, we know that the area of our big triangle ABC is equal to the sum of the areas of our three triangles, which equals to A plus 8. And the area of the small triangle DBE is equal to A. Now we can use the property of a similar triangles which we mentioned earlier. We can say that the factor of similarity between those two triangles is equal to the square root 
of the relation of their areas, which in terms is equal to the relation between their corresponding sides. All right, so now we can use this equation. We already know that C over B is equal to 1 over 3, so we can substitute this value in, and then we can simplify this equation by first putting everything to the square. From this, we will get the following. Now we can cross multiply this and get that 9A is equal to A plus 8, which means that 8A must be equal to 8. From this, we will get that the area of our small triangle DBE must be equal to one squared unit. And now it's pretty easy to find the area of the whole triangle since the area is equal to the sum of the areas of all three triangles inside it. So the area of the big triangle is equal to nine squared units and this is our solution. So did you guys found another way to solve this problem? If you did, do not hesitate to write it down in the comment section below and let everyone know. And of course, if you enjoyed this problem, give it a like or consider subscribing to the channel if you already haven't. And until next time, see you all.